Okay, guys, <clears throat> now we're going to continue this conversation about food because that was just the first step, that one, the last video. And I want to explain something else to you. Humans, with their limited understanding about how things work and your limited scientific capabilities at this point, you operate with, like I said in the previous videos, you you collect your data, your, your, um, yeah, you collect your data and you assume that you've got the truth and then you replace it with other, with other facts and you think that you've got the truth, but you don't. Now, let's back it up. 3D, the densest aspect of 3D was really around uh, 19, late 1940s and got into full swing late 50s-ish, somewhere in there, give or take timelines. And what happened is a lot of uh, controls were put into place to make that happen. One of the biggest ones that happened after the monotheistic religions were put into place was the control over health. Now, other things had to be put into place for the total control of food and health to really get a lock. And really, the monotheistic religions had to really take over the whole planet for them to really be able to control food, i.e. health, which are both kind of tied together as all things are. Now, before that, it was very, very common for a family to grow their own garden. Uh, most families did. And when they did that, you grew your own garden. When you do that, the family dynamics, the fi family vibration, interacts directly with the land. In the process of that, Gaia, the land, and nature, plants and animals, where the person would raise um, farm animals or chickens or make their own cheese or grow... Um, big gardens and uh, frequently people would exchange things and it was very direct it was very direct I give you cheese you give me eggs I give you beef you give me pork it was very very limited the amount of human contact with food products was very limited okay guys in the limited take uh, um, exchange with food products then the animals and the plants and Gaia and accessing directly to Gaia's energy could correct a lot of the damage that the lower vibrations of human beings interacting with those food products would do. So yes there were people who uh, plowed the land but then the seed went into the ground and the ground helped the plant grow and yes people picked the product, you know, whatever kind of, um, the, the tomatoes. But then they took it in, and usually it was a group of people, either of some sort, uh, whether all the women in the family or uh, get together for the community or whatever, and they'd put up food. Then frequently what would happen is that food that was put up, either uh, usually canned, or smoked or whatever it would go into a basement or a cellar now a basement or a cellar frequently was kept cool because people didn't have as much money for electricity there wasn't as much electricity running things so the cool earth would protect that food that was put up okay well that's that's food that's close to the earth Gaia would keep that energy and that food clean. Okay? Now, what happened as modern America, or modern humans, came into play is what they started with industry. They started growing fields of fill-in-the-blanks or orchards of fill-in-the-blanks. So instead of smaller amounts with less human interaction... Um, interfering with the vibration of these food products that matched humans that kept them 
uh, all beings, including humans, kept them healthy, what happened is people started interfering in that process, getting between humans and the products that would keep their human bodies alive and kicking. So what y'all don't understand is you get caught up in whether or not it's meat or cheese or raw or vegetables or carbs or not. What you do not understand is that it has very little to do with the actual food product at this point. That what you don't understand is the country that the food is coming from, the vibration of that country affects the food. The person who picked it affects the food. The people that make the vehicles, the cart, the the, the uh, product affect the food. The factory and who's working on it in the moment can affect the food. The cans that or the plastic or the boxes that are packaging the product that is the food can affect the food. Uh, the people that deliver it to the grocery store can affect the food. The cities that it's delivered to can affect the food. Are you getting a picture yet here? So that now, by the time you have come from the product that you have tested so vehemently, collected accurate data on, by the time that food product gets to you in your house, it is not the same product at all. It is completely changed vibrationally. But because you don't have the scientific data to make that an accurate statement in your minds, you just see the product at the point that it has been taken out of the field or whatever and tested with a human body, not understanding that all of that has been affected. Now I'll give you another bit of information. Prisms can literally, you can have a prism who has been born since 2012. They can walk around a grocery store, go running over to a product. Usually, since that's about a seven-year-old and younger, those are on lower shelves. They can go run over to any food product anywhere and be just, just excited about the product because it has bright colors on it, and it, they're just drawn to a cartoon character, they can pick up that package, that box, that plastic, and hold it and love it unconditionally, which they do, because that's what prisms do. And that box will now become pure, beautiful, sublime energy that is perfect for anyone. They can do that with a box of gumdrops, or a package of uh, sunflower seeds, or a bag of carrots. It doesn't have anything to do with the actual product at this point in the game. At this point in the game, you're, you're supposed to start realizing that all of this is based on vibration, and all the rest of it is a game. So start clicking off what is a game. Is this real or is this a part of the game? All of it is a part of the game. So now you begin to see how good you can get at playing the game. Well, how you get good at playing the game is to know it's a game. And that means that you don't fall for any of the rules anymore. So the way you get around that is you go, okay, where am I in the game? You don't say, okay, well, I'm over there in the game. I'm on level 10, so I'm going to use the rules that are on level 25. No, you're in level 10. you got to get to 25. So do what you've got to do to get to level 25. Now, I'm on pretty high level of the game, so I don't pay any attention at all to whether or not something society or the scientists or anything, and I don't care what anybody says is healthy or not for my body in this moment. All I feel, all I look at, is vibrations. What does this physical body need vibrationally to get to level the next level? That's all I care about. The rest of it, I do not play those games anymore. I don't pay any attention to anybody. I do not care what anybody else sees or believes or does because I know how the game plays. So I've given you hints whether or not you follow these hints 
doesn't matter. You can't get it wrong. They're hints. So for those that like the hints, those that like to get the cheat codes, so to speak, these are cheat codes. For those that don't like playing the games with cheat codes, then ignore me. Continue on. You can't do it wrong. You can't do it wrong. When you play a video game, you can't play it wrong. You may think you're playing a better or worse, which is not exactly true. But is, this is a video game that you, there is no better, there is no worse. You can't get it wrong. You can listen to cheat codes. You can use them forever and ever and ever. Or you can ignore the cheat codes and do it the, your own way. These are just cheat codes, okay? So understand that. The food is not the food anymore. It's about vibration. Now, if you really, really, really want to deal with food, and it be really food energy that's coming from Gaia, then you go grow your own food. Raise your own animals. Slaughter them. Kill them yourself. Raise chickens. Eat their eggs. Whatever it is, you can get close to the source. And the reason is not because the source is better per se. It's simply because... People handling, delivering, packaging the food changes the vibration of the food. I don't think it's very long before you guys are going to be able to prove that anyway. Scientifically, they, they already can. Whether or not you can access that data or will, will be, of course, totally up to you. All right? Okay, so there's another piece of the food puzzle. All right? Be sure and hit the bell. Now that I know about the bell... Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment below, ask questions. I do look, I do answer them, and if it's going to be too much of an answer, I always do a video. So, feel free, I'm right here, I'm a regular person. As Stephanie said, I'm old school YouTube back in the day when we just did videos and it wasn't all about production. I'm a regular old person talking to regular old you. You can talk to me, I'll talk to you, I promise. Okay? I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye now.